Hey guys, it's Nobody Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple released yet another beta for iOS 15.4. Today releasing iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 3. Now, there's rumor that Apple will be releasing this software in the first half of March. So it looks like Apple is now quickly releasing new betas every week. We saw beta 2 last week and beta 3 this week. So we could probably anticipate maybe another beta and a release candidate before the rumored expected release date. Now, now, iOS 15.4 Developer Beta 3 today brings some improvements and changes as well, but iOS 15.4 in general is shaping up to be one of the biggest updates to iOS 15 and to Face ID devices as well with the new Face ID mask unlock, right? You can now unlock your iPhone wearing a mask, you can add glasses, and just a ton of other features. I'll link everything down below my coverage for this software, but today Beta 3 is available for public beta testers and developers alike. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that aside from iOS 15.4 developer beta 3, Apple did their usual stuff, updating all their other platforms as well. Apple released macOS 12.3 developer beta 3 is now available for the Mac, so you can download that right now. iOS 15.4 developer beta 3, as I mentioned, is out for the iPhone. Of course, iPadOS 15.4 Beta 3 is out for the iPad, watchOS 8.5 Beta 3 is available for Apple Watch and as per usual, Apple TV, tvOS 15.4. Beta 3 is now available for Apple TV as well. Now, when you go to download the, this software, the download's going to be anywhere between 600 to 800 megabytes, give or take, depending on the iPhone that you're using and the beta that you're updating from or the software that you're updating from, as you can see right there. Now, before we get to some of the changes, let's take a quick look here at the latest bill number here. So, iOS 15.4 Beta 3, that bill number is 19E. 5225G. So what's new with the latest iOS 15.4 developer beta 3? Well, one thing that I've noticed so far many users reporting on within the settings application, if you've never set up an emergency contact for emergency SOS, right here it is, this option right here. If you've never set this up, your iPhone will now prompt you in settings to add an emergency SOS contact to your emergency SOS. Now, I haven't seen that prompt, but 9to5Mac has confirmed that this is something that's been added to iOS 15.4. Now, according to Steve Moser on Twitter, Apple could also be working on a new notification prompt for the lock screen for the Notes application with iOS 15.4. These new features will most likely gradually be rolling out to multiple devices and many devices as iOS 15.4 continues to progress. Now, nothing major aside from that has been changed with iOS 15.4. Of course, there's a lot of new features and changes with this one. We can expect this software, again, as I mentioned before, maybe another beta next week. We could see beta 4, maybe the RC or release candidate the first week of March with a release date, most likely during the event, which is rumored to happen on March 8th or after the event the following week on the 14th of March. So let me know what you think about iOS 15.4. Are you looking forward to this one? I know I am. There's a lot of big changes here happening. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.